In standard quantum mechanics, the notion of a measurement seems to be quite central. What is a measurement in Bohmian mechanics? Are there any like special rules for the prediction of outcomes of measurements derived from the Bohmian framework? A measurement is the interaction between two quantum mechanical systems, one of which is called the apparatus. This interaction is described in just the same way as every other interaction. This means by the usual Schrödinger equation. The characterizing property of a measuring device or apparatus is that at the end of the experiment, the measuring device is in one of several macroscopically distinguishable configurations, like for instance, pointers pointing in different directions. Now, as is well known, including the measuring device in the quantum mechanical description, as we just did, produces the measurement problem, illustrated by the famous Schrodinger's cat Gedankenexperiment. To understand this, let's consider the following situation. We have a system to be measured, and we say the system starts out in a state A. And if the system starts out in a state A, we say that after the measurement, the apparatus, the pointer of the apparatus will point to the right. And it will point to the left if the system started out in a different state, let's call it B. Now we can prepare the system in a superposition of the two states, so A plus B, normalized of course. Due to the linearity of the Schrödinger equation, the prediction for the wave function of the apparatus after the measurement is pointing left plus pointing right. This is obviously not in agreement with the experimental situation. In Bohmian mechanics, the resolution of the measurement problem comes about as we simply analyze the measurement situation. What we have ignored so far is the position of the particles. In our example, the pointer, posi uh, the, the pointer positions left and right correspond to wave functions which have virtually just joint support in configuration space. This is called decoherence. The Bohmian trajectories of the particles in the pointer are always well defined, so they are always somewhere. Now if the wave function consists of two parts of this joint support, the, part the particle positions will be in just one of them. So the Bohmian positions of the particles in the pointer after the experiment will be located in the support of only the left or the right wave function, for example, while the other branch of the wave function doesn't play any role for the further state of affairs and can be neglected. Now we see that taking into account the particle positions effectively reproduces the so-called collapse postulate of ordinary quantum mechanics for measurement-like situations. And we have a clear-cut picture of what, is, of what is actually happening during a measurement process. In addition, there's no more measurement problem in Bohmian mechanics.